And we're back with the news at the state capitol. After a busy weekend, the California Democratic Party convention in Sacramento has officially come to an end, but not without some controversy and chaos. Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace joins us from the convention center in downtown Sacramento with the party's response after protesters forced their way in, leading organizers to cancel Saturday night's event, plus why the party did not end up endorsing any candidates running for the U.S. Senate. Well, simply put, here at the convention, none of the Senate candidates met the threshold needed to get the party endorsement. And as for what happened here Saturday night, well, party leaders called that unacceptable. You're looking at the moment. Security locked the doors and cleared the convention center in downtown Sacramento on Saturday just after 7 p.m. All of it taking place in the middle of the weekend-long California Democratic Party convention. The reason for the lockdown? A group of protesters characterizing themselves as pro-Palestinian breached an entrance from outside the building and pushed their way through security inside the building as they called for a ceasefire in the Hamas-Israel war. Per party officials, two security guards were injured in the incident, an incident that led organizers to shut down the building and cancel the remaining Democratic Party events scheduled for the rest of Saturday night. Simply put. This is unacceptable. First thing Sunday morning, party chair Rusty Hicks publicly condemned what happened, vowing an investigation and pledging what he described as appropriate action against those responsible. The attendees, particularly our Jewish delegates and guests, were openly intimidated and harassed. We as California Democrats uphold the constitutionally protected right to free speech, exercising those rights with violence, intimidation, harassment, or bullying has no place in our party or in our communities. Anti-Semitism and Islamophobia has no place in our party or in our communities. Following those remarks, the convention carried on with its business, including its certification of the delegate vote whether to endorse candidates in the race for the U.S. Senate. In the end, no candidate received the 60% threshold needed to get the endorsement. Barbara Lee received 41%, Adam Schiff 40%, and Katie Porter 16%. Delegates reacting to the results and sharing who they voted for. I believe that it is important that Barbara Lee is a woman of color. I think women of color have been completely left out of the conversation of politics for as long as politics have existed. So it's very important to get diversity. I support Adam Schiff because he's going to fight for us the way he fought against Donald Trump. I support Katie Porter because, like Katie, I am a single mom and there are no single moms represented in the Senate. And so she's a great candidate. And as for the endorsement, well, the party will meet after after the March primary to decide whether to endorse then. Reporting in downtown Sacramento, Aton Wallace, 17 News.